There's two kinds of nickel deposits in the world today. One is the nickel sulfide deposits of places like Norilsk in Russia, Sudbury in, in Canada, Cambalda in Western Australia. And the second is uh, the nickel laterite, which is really dirt, nickel dirt deposits that are found in the, in, the, in the tropics. And there's been a lot of money since 2000 put into developing nickel dirt projects. They've generally been disappointing and they've generally been very expensive. So the world is now turning back to the nickel sulfide deposits, the high quality nickel deposits of the, of the Sudbury type. And the world is starting to run out of that kind of deposit. So the checklist that I'm looking for is a checklist for nickel sulfides rather than a checklist for nickel deposits in general. And that would be that uh, if you apply that checklist to ENL, you think about where was ENL back in the mid Jurassic time when it was formed? And it would have been out in the middle of what would eventually become the Pacific Ocean. Now, out in the Pacific Ocean today, you can see uh, in Hawaii, for example, there is red hot lava pouring into the ocean, like, like coming out of a fire hose. And that's uh, so that leaves an unmineralized deposit at the surface of the earth. What would happen uh, if on the way up, that um, basaltic magma that's, that's coming right out the top today, what would happen if on the way up it were to absorb a lot of rocks rich in sulfur? Well, the answer is that what would happen would be that uh, the, uh, the, the rock, uh, the, the nickel in, in the uh, basalt would combine with the sulfur to make nickel sulfide globules of immiscible magma. So uh, instead of uh, being uh, dissolve the, the nickel being dissolved inside the basalt, it's got its own little um, globules of, uh, of, of sulfide magma. And the second question to ask yourself about ENL is what would happen if you were, instead of pouring this straight into the ocean, you were to pour this magma into a magma chamber and let it sit there? Well, what would happen is that nickel sulfide magma would gradually sink to the bottom and, and form and coalesce to a big thick layer which would crystallize and cool and become massive sulfides. Do we have any of those things going on at uh, ENL? Yes, we have basaltic magma. It's formed a large magma chamber. Yes, we have sulfur-rich rocks in the Hazelden group that can be absorbed on the way up. And uh, yes, we, we appear to have in the Q anomaly the possibility of a magma chamber where the settling could have occurred.